hello friends welcome back in the last video i forgot to add uh, one more column uh, activated uh, which will tell us uh, user is uh, verified or not if the value of that column is zero means user is not verified and the value of that column is one means he or she is verified so here here we can add uh, by doing this after add code and we can go here and name of the column name of the column and length or uh, type of the type will be enumerated there you can found the enumerated type and you can write also sql queries uh, here we have written sql queries for the user table so this table is already created so we need to alter this table for this i'm going to write one more query dollar sql equals to alter table this is the syntax alter table now name of the table user underscore info this is the name of table and we want to add a column so for this add and uh, i will write name of the column activated activated okay activated and type will be enumerated and it has two options one is zero means not activated and another option is one if it is one means it is user email address is verified and default value it has a default value which will be zero so default value will be zero uh, uh, spelling script okay default zero and uh, and where we want to add this column after act underscore code so after activation code we want to add this column okay fine this is our sql query now i'm going to execute and my sqi underscore query dollar connection dollar uh, sql so it will be go alteration okay and this is a table page so refresh this page so you can see here alterations successfully now refresh okay fine we have to come uh, here you can see in you can see here uh, our column is added activated and type enumerated and default value is zero and in the last video we have also created a page uh, in a database for the database connection and in and we will, we will require a new page which will act as an engine for the entire script for this save it and uh, name will be action php save here uh, we need a class okay name of the class uh, i think good name is process this is this is the this class will have all the main process like uh, verification of email validation of email insertion of uh, record into the database so this is the this will class will basically have basic functions and uh, it will extend our database class database okay save okay fine and here i'm going to uh, just erase this object and whenever we require somewhere else we can create the object of this class and use action.php now this is our database class process will contain Methods, methods like uh, first uh, check validation and existence of existence of email in our data base. Second insertion of record Third, mm, 
send activation uh, link to user email address both selection of record okay this is fine and uh, include add database page so for this include db dot now we have database class and we are extending here database class so i just need to make the function public let's go verify sorry public function verify underscore email we need a table and the input email for the verification and the second function will be okay public function insert underscore record after everything is done so we'll insert the record for this in a table and input and we also need a function public send activation link send activation code for this we need email where we want to send activation code and we need uh, activation code I will perform the sum functions okay fine save it and this is our database uh, sorry index page and uh, this is uh, I will show you in the top of the page I have just basic HTML5 uh, structure meta tag with head you can get this all this thing in my web page and this is a basic small style and uh, from here our form is started forms talk here and you can see uh, in the form i have written on submit equals to return false you have to write this because it is necessary i'm going to pass the inputs via ajax so we need to write return false and method as usual post and id of this form is register form this is a simple and label i have given name and here is the input and type will be text placeholder name this is the name and here i have given one more uh, class for the to gener uh, to show the error to user uh, if there is any error and there is uh, another input email and whose type is email and placeholder will be email and id and name both are same user underscore email and third you can see here uh, gender and for gender i have uh, given uh, two inputs uh, and uh, type of this input is radio and keep in mind name of both the input is gender so we have to keep same name then only one of them can be selected either male or female for male we have given value m for female we have given value f so keep in mind this this is an important thing the name should be same for both the buttons for uh, one selection and here we have given error class choose country so here is the select option and name of you have given uh, i have given name user country in the select tag and the, it has multiple options for the different countries like uh, i have given few countries you can give lots of countries or what, whatever you want in the first i have given choose country so it has value nothing you can just write your value equals to blank then we can validate it okay and the second option we have given india third option uh, just name the uh, whatever the option your value will be same 
and a error class here to show the error now here is one more important thing languages known what languages you know so for this I have given uh, three inputs and type of these inputs are checkbox and you can see here English uh, just uh, after the input I have written English value English and lang name of this uh, input is lang but this is an array so this is a symbol of array so it will contain it will it, it can it can have English Hindi Urdu three of them together and uh, if, if you know two so it can have two English and Hindi so the, the, this must be the lang with the array symbol so it will be an, a, an array and choose password finally so type is password placeholder password name and id will be same password and the uh, error class to show the error for the password re-enter password same type password uh, placeholder will be different enter re-password and finally i have submit button with type submit name register and value register save and just uh, let me copy the file path enter this is the same form if you want you can comment me if you want this form you can comment me in the comment section I will provide you but this is a very simple form if you have watched all uh, my all videos of related HTML and CSS you can make this thing very easily that is good no nothing is happening and I have given given return uh, on submit return false so there is no hashtag this just it is just basic simple thing